In this module we're talking about the Glenvar Bale Direct system. So the Bale Direct is towing a baler behind the harvester and capturing all of the residue that exits the harvester in the bales. It was developed by the Shields family in Western Australia. They towed chaff carts for a long time, then they developed the Bale Direct system and they were selling the bales to a pellet mill nearby. And so they used it to remove weed seeds but also to make extra income on their farm. So let's have a look at the Bale Direct system. There are a couple of different Bale Direct systems on the market. There's the Glenvar system developed in Western Australia that we've already mentioned, and John Deere also have a model. Bale Direct comes with a very big cost. It has a big capital cost. The Glenvar Bale Direct system, by the time you buy the baler and the system to connect that baler to the harvester with the conveyor belt and so on, it is over $300,000. So the running cost, including finance, maintenance, fuel, and so on, is $30 per hectare or thereabouts. And then it also has the high nutrient removal cost of $7.50 per hectare because we are removing all of the residue that comes out of the back of the harvester. So it is the most expensive harvest weed seed control tool. But there is a value of the bales. So if there is a market for the bales nearby, and the grower can achieve a good price for those bales, there can be profit to be made. So let's have a little bit of a look at the numbers here. If we have a two ton per hectare wheat crop, we remove 50% of the residue, we know that we are baling about 1.5 tonnes per hectare of straw. A typical value for straw can be $40 to $60 per hectare unstacked in the paddock, so whoever buys it sometimes goes and picks it up. So therefore we can generate an income of $75 per hectare. So in this example for a two tonne per hectare wheat crop where we're generating $75 per hectare of income for the bales, knowing that the cost of running Bale Direct system was $46 per hectare including nutrient removal cost, there can be a margin in running the Bale Direct system of in this case about $30 per hectare. So it can be a system that generates extra revenue and is a form of harvest weed seed control at the same time, but obviously there needs to be a market for the bales nearby to the farm. So that could be a pellet mill or a bioenergy plant, or in some cases, uh, growers are using it for bedding for a piggery or, or something like that. So um, the feedlotting industry also uses uh, the bales. So if that market for the bales exists near the farm, you can work out a, an ongoing contract at the right price. The Bale Direct system can be a profitable system. The pros of the Bale Direct system, well, as I said, extra profit if a market for the bales exists. And the fact that 95% of the weed seeds that enter the front of that harvester end up in the bales. It's a very effective form of harvest weed seed control. But there's a big list of cons. So we need a large market for the bales for it to be viable got to handle a lot of bales. There's the nutrient removal and the residue removal. You need skilled labour to operate it. One farmer said to me he was wondering where he was going to find more astronauts to drive his harvester after driving his bale direct system. And there's a large capital cost and horsepower requirements. So there's a big list of cons. So you've really got to have a good market for the bales and an ongoing contract for those bales to make it viable. So where does it fit? Obviously, as we've said, where there is that market nearby, but also probably for the higher potassium soils, we are removing all of the residue, so there's going to be a significant potassium cost there. So in summary, the Bale Direct system, another great system developed by an Australian grain grower, can be a profitable system if the market for the bales exists, but given that there will be a limited market for bales in Australia, it probably will remain a system that's used by just a few growers.